How's it going everybody? It's Ben Aqua and this is my 2021 productivity desk setup completely built around the Mac Mini M1. The Mac Mini M1 is my favorite computer by far right now. It's the best Mac that I've ever used. It is insanely fast and it really keeps me kind of motivated to be more creative when doing my video editing, producing music, basically any task that I throw at it, it just cuts through it like butter. But the problem with the Mac Mini is it's just a box. It's just a computer. It comes with just a power cable. So you need all kinds of peripherals from the monitor to a keyboard to some kind of mouse or trackpad just to get it running. But that's part of the fun. So let me grab the camera and show you piece by piece what's going on here. All right, so this is my desk setup. I am really satisfied with it. I love the lighting. I love color. I especially love primary colors. So you'll see a lot of that. To me, this looks nice and minimal. It looks nice and clean. I didn't want a whole lot of things on my desk because the more things that I put on here, the more visually distracted I can get. So first of all, the chair that I use is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. It's a really awesome chair. It seems like it's almost the official chair of YouTubers or something, but it really is a pretty good chair. I really like this mesh back here. So you can actually lift this up and, you know, push it down a little bit and adjust this headrest, which is really nice. I should have gotten a chair like this a long time ago because I think my back wouldn't be so problematic if I had something just as simple as adjustable lumbar support. So you can actually move this up and down a little bit. And this chair is just really awesome to customize. There's all kinds of levers and ways to adjust almost everything on this chair and it rolls around really nicely. The cushion is a little bit hard. I wish it had a little more softness to it, but overall, I really, really like this chair and check out the link in the description. That's my affiliate link for Autonomous. That'll give you a little discount. So the desk that I'm using is from Ikea and it's called the Teague or Tig, Thig? I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but the desk itself is just kind of a minimal medium sized desk with these slanted legs. And I like the design of it and it's pretty sturdy. It doesn't really have any shake to it. This is not a standing desk or anything. I can adjust the legs if I wanted to, but it's just adjusted already to about where I would normally use it. So it works for me. And the desk was also inexpensive. I think I paid like $40 for it off of Facebook Marketplace. This is my first mechanical keyboard, the Keymove Snow Fox 61, but I actually ended up spray painting this case just to give it a little more spunk because the original case was a white color. I also replaced some of the keycaps with these blank ones just to give it even more color. Overall, I really like this keyboard. A company called Banggood sent this to me. It has Bluetooth. It works really well with the Mac Mini M1. For my trackpad, I use a Magic Trackpad 2 from Apple. I really love this thing. I think it's like one of the most beautiful and minimal designed things Apple has ever made really. So on the front of my desk is this little thing right here, which is actually my audio interface that runs through a USB cable that is underneath my desk. You can, you can see a bunch of cables and my kind of cable management system I got going on here. I have this audio interface, which is the Behringer Euphoria UMC 204 HD. It has really clean sound. It's really inexpensive. So there's a couple of main outputs there and those kind of run around and go into my speakers. The speakers that I'm using are the BX8A from M Audio. I've been using these monitors because I do produce music. If you like weird synthesizer pop music, you might like my stuff. Check out Ben Aqua on Spotify and Apple Music. And I've been using these monitors, the BX8As from M Audio for, damn, I don't know, maybe about 10 years or so. And I really love the sound of these monitors. They don't have any fancy features. There's no Bluetooth or anything, but they're just a really nice pair of really huge and just really thick and deep bass sounding monitors. So I have one of those speakers over there on the right. And then I have the second one kind of triangulating on the left. So I have it set up so the desk is actually pulled forward away from the wall, um, maybe about a foot and a half. And then the speakers are kind of triangulated towards my head, which is about right here. On top of each audio monitor is a blue LED light with a smart bulb. So I have a Google Home over here and I can use a voice command to change the color of these. And I find the blue, you know, kind of relaxing. So over here on the right side, of my desk is my actual 
Mac Mini, which I have in this enclosure. I decided that I wanted the Mac Mini to be under my desk hidden in that enclosure because it's a beautiful device, but you know, I don't have a whole lot of space in my studio. I'm using a wide angle lens, so it makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is, but my studio is incredibly small and I really have to maximize the space that I have here. So I really like the idea of hiding the Mac Mini underneath the desk to conserve more space on top of it. And let's talk about the screen now because I really like this Dell UltraSharp 27 inch 4K monitor. It's USB-C and I have the Mac Mini M1 plugged in via USB-C in the back. So let's switch that around and I'll show you my kind of clumpiness of, that is my cable management here. But yeah, this white cable is actually running into my Mac Mini M1. And there are a few other things plugged in here, one of which is the USB cable that is plugging into the audio interface down here. And then another USB cable is going into this wireless charger, which I have here for my phone. That's one of the reasons I love this Dell monitor, besides the really crisp, amazing image quality, is it has so many USB ports, including these ones on the side, that are really, really nice for just quickly plugging in a USB-C. You know, I can plug my phone into here. I can plug another USB device or charge, you know, my keyboard or something. It is a little bit pricey at $600, but I found a used one. This one was like $470 on Amazon. It was used like new. Works really well with the M1 Mac as well. And then over here is my iPad Pro, which has a huge, clock on it because I'm trying to be better at like time management and I can also use it to do FaceTime on here. I can even run Sidecar from the Mac into the iPad Pro to use it as a tiny, you know, external monitor. And then next to the wireless charger is my Rode NT-USB mini microphone, which is an awesome little USB microphone that Rode sent me. Thank you, Rode. There are so many things I really love about this microphone. It has really amazing audio quality. And I mean, just look how small this thing is. And again, it's one of the things about having a Mac mini M1 is it's a wonderful computer, but you need all kinds of peripherals. You know, if you wanna do Siri commands, for example, the Mac needs some type of microphone. So this mic sounds really good. It uses USB-C which is really convenient. It also has a little headphone jack so you can kind of monitor stuff when I'm recording vocals or something in my music. And I also use this for Zoom meetings and stuff, like I'll bring it a little bit closer to me and just talk right into it. And if I need to save even more space on my desk, I can take my phone off when I don't really need to charge it and put the little USB microphone on there. And because it's magnetic on the bottom, it just sits there on top of the wireless charger. I also get a lot of questions about dongles that I use or hubs, USB hubs, because there's only four USB ports in the back of the Mac Mini M1. So if I need anything extra, I will use this OWC Thunderbolt hub, which gives you an extra three Thunderbolt USB-C ports and then an extra USB-A port in the back. This is a really powerful device, but most of the time I don't really need this unless I'm plugging in an extra SSD or something into the Mac Mini M1. But OWC, thank you for this hookup. This is a really sweet device. And I've gotten a lot of questions about the arm mount that my monitor is on. This is not the stock mount that came with the monitor. The stock one is like something that would go right here. And I found the one that came with the monitor to be kind of bulky and not the best looking thing in the world. So I like the more minimal Elitab monitor arm stand that I got right here. This arm is really cool because it swings all the way around if you want to, and you can really make a lot of adjustments with it. And I think it was only like $35 or something. But yeah, I prefer this kind of arm over the normal stand, and it's just a lot more ergonomic. And then to the left of my monitor is this beautiful little sculpture that has my Apple Pencil, some scissors, and some markers, and you know, just to add a little more splash of color onto my desk. And then down here is just a really cute pin that I got from a local artist that just says, just happy to be here. I really like that. Okay, so one of the coolest parts of my desk setup 
is definitely this LED lamp that you see here. This lamp is from BenQ. It's the BenQ e-reading LED lamp. And I really, really love this lamp. It's definitely the most expensive lamp I've ever owned. But BenQ sent me one of these models just to test out and I am in love with it. It's really adjustable. As you can see here, it's got these kind of bendable arms. So you can do all kinds of stuff. You know, I stare at this monitor almost all day. So I definitely don't want my eyes to become too strained. And this helps out so much. I also just love the design of it. It looks like a giant toy or something. And apparently that's my aesthetic. I also really like that the cable management on it is just really cool and really clean. It's all just embedded into the frame. The stand on the bottom, like what sits on your actual desk, is such a sturdy stand. Like this thing is just not moving, it's so heavy. And if you touch this ring, it actually will go into different types of modes. So you can see it turned orange there, which means it's in a mode for reading a book. And then if you hold your finger on it again, the little indicator turns green. The green mode is meant for just kind of general day use when you're using it on a desk with a screen or monitor or something. So yeah, this lamp is $200, but I find it to be one of the best lamps. It just gives out this beautiful, even light that spreads out over the desk so nicely. So I'm gonna show you underneath my desk a little bit more too, to show you how I do my kind of haphazard, but it works style of cable management. Basically everything on my desk is plugged into this one power outlet right here. And also, yes, I still have a hole in my wall. I feel like I should name it. So if you have a suggestion for a name for the hole in the wall, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking something maybe like Bob, but yeah, hit me up in the comments for name suggestions. But this blue light that you see right here is a P1 by Bowling. It's an LED light and it's super powerful. And I have it on this stand, just kind of double-sided taped to the bottom of my desk. So it gives off a nice blue glow. And what's really cool too, is you can change the color of it because it has a ton of different colors. It's battery operated, or you can power it via USB-C, which is what I'm doing right here. So that's one of the other things that's plugged in into the power strip here. And also underneath my desk, next to the Mac Mini M1, is my Nintendo Switch dock, which I also double-sided taped to the bottom of my desk. So it's a little bit precarious, but my Switch is actually sitting in there and this hasn't fallen down after about a month of it being there. I basically have my desk set up for my Switch and for my Mac Mini M1. I'm not a huge gamer. I really just game just a little bit on my Switch and you know a little bit of Apple Arcade on the Mac Mini. And I have it all kind of wired into the back of the monitor, which has one HDMI input so that I can switch pretty easily from the Switch to the Mac Mini M1 and back and forth. And you can even see, you know, some of my cable management, you don't really need anything super fancy. Like this is just the masking tape, you know, just to hold cables up. And my goal with the cable management was just to basically make it look really clean, you know, from about standing level or when I'm sitting down, I don't wanna see any of the wires sticking out from underneath here. And the double-sided tape that I used is not normal, you know, really thin double-sided tape. This is some special stuff that you can get off of Amazon. It's really sticky on both sides. It's even reusable apparently. So this is the kind of tape that I used to tape, you know, something like this device under my desk. So I basically just put strips of tape you know, on the top of this device and just kind of stuck it on there. And it actually works really well. Also for my power strip, it has that same double-sided tape underneath this. And I mean, this thing is not coming off. It's really, really strong. So there you have it. That is my 2021 productivity desk setup for the Mac Mini M1. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about anything I talked about today, or if there's a peripheral that you really like, something that works really well with your Mac or with your desk setup. I love to see y'all down in the comments. So thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you really liked this video and feel like smashing that like button, I would really like you back. And a little extra bonus for all of you who stayed for the whole video. I have a new Discord channel that's been a lot of fun. If you wanna join the channel, hit me up on Instagram with a follow and then send me a DM being like, yo, I wanna join your Discord channel and I will send you the exclusive VIP link and then you'll be part of the House of Aqua officially. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're having an awesome creative day. Go out there and just make something, damn it. And I'll see you in the next video.